going on everybody? Rob Banks here and we are here at Toy Fair, the Red Cup Review, and we are interviewing Asmus Toys. We're here with the owner. You guys gotta check this stuff out. They're the guys that got the exclusive rights on the Lord of the Rings series. Okay, so how's it going? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? Yo, your collectors are a, a pretty dynamite. I love what you guys are doing with the expansion packs you guys got coming out. Yo, it's, it's really cool stuff. So, um, Tell the people that are going to be watching this on YouTube what's like the new stuff that's coming out. Well, I, um, this year we kind of focus on the, the Developing Christ series. Uh, this is Dante, the like, first one out of the line. We have about four or five characters coming out in 2018. Uh, followed by Dante, we have Nero, Virgil, and uh, Dante from the third and the second game. So, yeah, it'll be exciting for the, the Developing Christ fans. Also, the Lord of the Rings will be continued to complete the series. Uh, Kinley is coming out to complete the fellowship of the ring. Nice. And we'll have an arrow car and the orcs. And so you guys are doing pretty good then. I mean, you guys are pretty much doing the whole collection. I mean, if you're going to complete the whole fellowship, how could you not complete the whole fellowship? That's right. <laughs> We're kind of fans of the, of the rings. So um, the most important thing is to finish it off. Yeah, and, of course. And uh, do, do, do a good job, of course. Okay. Apparently, like, we are the one that how the, the host the license okay we gotta do it for the fans and do it for ourselves see that they're doing it for the fans okay let's show them what else we got coming out um yes we uh, the, the the closest thing to come out is daisy domago from the half of eight um yeah she's like the the the, the prison from the <laughs> from the movie and uh, this is the prototype of course and the followed by the the product this is the factory products of the the john Luce and the, the major warren and uh also, the, the diorama, we, we kind of bring it as a merchandise because of a lot of demands. They're actually doing merchandising, the, the dioramas here. So this is, is probably coming out just like that. And that's a pretty dynamite, it's a huge piece, and it'll be a great companion to your, uh, your Hateful Eight uh, series. Excellent. I mean, you guys got a lot of stuff coming out. It, 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 it seems like you guys want to do, like, you got the five uh, figures coming out of that. So it's almost like you're not just going to be doing one-offs. No. You know, it's like they, they got the license, and they're going to give fans an option, uh, the, the, the ability to get, like, a whole series. Kind That's, of, right. That's right. You know, which will work better in your displays, obviously. All right. You mind if we check one of them out? All right. We actually got them to open the display case and pull some of the stuff out for us. Check this out. This is an up-close... Look at the Devil May Cry figure. Check out the detail on that. The buckles are all metal, and they're all, I mean, it, the paint, everything handcrafted, obviously. It's high quality. I've been messing around with the joints. They hold pretty well. They're not, the underlying body is not cheap. It's not loose, you know? The, it's, it's there, you know? You ain't got to worry about that. Now, one thing the owner did point out to me is this cape. Not the cape, the jacket, rather. Uh, it's a new material that they've worked on, and it's got a, a longer lifespan than your average... Um, uh, figure like you're not gonna have to worry about this deteriorating and then falling apart on your shelf they're, they're talking about a possible 10 year uh, give or take a uh, lifespan on that and it's a nice durable quality you know it's nice it's got a nice leathery look to it the uh, the paintwork on it is really nice you know so it, it's it's definitely a, a, a big step in in the one sixth world as far as uh, uh, craftsmanship goes let's get a closer look at some of the Lord of the Rings figures yeah. They are really dynamite. Let me tell you, sometimes the pictures that you catch online, um, and they might be done with professional photography, they don't do the figures justice when you actually hold them in your hand. You can see them up, up close. This is something else they're working on, another, um, uh, uh, another round of the Lord of the Rings uh, Steed, uh, a new development they're working on. And over here, for the Devil May Cry figure, uh, the figure comes in this packaging here, right? And then this piece, which is the, di I guess, like the diorama stand display, will also be is available now and is sold separately. So you can have that as like an add-on as well. And uh, it's, I mean, could you really ask for more? <laughs> All right, well, that's it with us here at Asmus Collectibles. Rob Banks saying, you know, we got our interview. It was a pleasure meeting you, dude. Thank you, Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you soon.